I think I'm ashamed to say this. I've been very wrong about the single paradido. So for the past four to five years, I've trashed up the single paradido in certain occasions. And don't get me wrong, I knew it was a decent rudiment, I knew it was good. But I just looked down on it because I felt it was not as useful to me as my favorites. You know, my favorites, the six stroke crow, the paradido dido, you know, inverted paradido, these are my favorites. But lately, I just found out something about the single paradido that shocked me to my bone. Like, it literally shocked me. So there's this crazy stuff I play from time to time. I got it during a practice session around 2022, September, I remember. <laughs> And I just stopped playing it. Until lately, I played it one day. I have a friend, more like a student, that watches me whenever I'm playing. And I was like, just break down this stuff. Let me understand what is going on. And I myself did not know what I was playing. It was just cool. Very cool stuff to me. But I didn't know what I was playing. I wasn't sure of it. I have never sat down to assess it and analyze it. To my utter shock, it was a single paradiddle that I was using to do that thing. And from that day till now, that's really opened up my mind. And I've been able to create a lot of things from the single paradiddle that you will not expect and that's why i'm making this video today i want to show you guys how to do that crazy thing you just saw me do and a lot more in this video so first of all before we get to other crazy stuff we need to learn that stuff you just saw single paradiddle if you don't know it is basically right left right right left right left left So gradually we speed it up. If you've not learned how to speed it up, please take your time and practice it very well. Practice it and find build your way up because we're going to be speeding this stuff up like very fast. So what we're doing here is basically the single paradiddle and two kicks after the single paradiddle. So it's going to start something like this. So after you've gotten this pattern on your snare, you have to play it three times and add two extra notes to complete the bar. The way you get by your snare drum, you cannot try between your snare and your float on. I can't do this thing with this watch. Okay, let me play it slowly so you see what is happening in that crossover. So we have... Still the single part, you know. You see, the second paradiddle now starts with the both of them on this turn. You can still start entirely from the floor tone. You can have... You get? You must not do... But truth is still going to sound like the same thing. After playing it repeatedly, it's going to start sounding like the same thing. So... So it doesn't just end as a crossover. Next thing you can do now, you can put this thing around the toms. First way of orchestrating it, put your first note around the toms while keeping every other note on the snare drum.
a little bit faster. So lately I've been getting lots of ideas like this, so don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to this channel yet. Drop a comment if you're enjoying this lesson so far. Like this video. Until the next thing we can do with this rudiment. I love this rudiment. I love what I came up with because it is very versatile. Now this same thing can work very well in 6.8. Like it shocked me and I've been enjoying the applications in the 6.8 time signature. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Six one two three four five 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 six one okay so in the six eight time signature you have to play this stuff four times do you understand because it can be confusing then on the fifth one you just play your paradido without the double kick and you crash just play very slowly, you get it. Just like you tried it on your snare, we can do the same thing we did for 4-4, four, four, for 6-8. So you can have fun with it around your thumbs. Yeah, so one thing I want to show you guys also, now we can substitute the last note of the paradido. This is not like the first one, but it's something you can do too, if you're trying to have fun with the single paradido. You can take away the last note of the single paradido, that's left, and put your kick there. So it begins to sound something like this. I've made a video covering this whole thing, how to substitute your kick and all of that. I think I'll leave the link to that video somewhere around here. Now, what we do here is we are sent the first, the two ascents in the single party do, we are sent them on this tone. So we have... So have fun with this stuff, play around with the orchestrations, create your own orchestrations, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.